What's up Brozones, welcome to the Ozone and welcome to another reaction video. Today we are reacting to the new FNAF Game Theory video. Now I didn't, I didn't react to the last one uh, for a few reasons, really it was kind of left on a cliffhanger so I decided not to upload it in the end. But um, today we're going to be reacting to Game Theory FNAF The Secret After and hopefully it's going to clear a lot of things up that he said in the first kind of Security Breach episode that he did. Um, how do I feel about Gregory being a robot, Elizabeth being Vanessa, or Vanessa being Elizabeth, and Glamrock Freddy being Michael Afton? I... Uh, I don't know how to feel, honestly. Again, I would need to, I, I would need to listen to this, to what he's gonna say. Uh, I, I need a part two, <laughs> so it's good that we're reacting to this now. Um, yeah, anyway. I think we should just get straight into this, and uh, yeah, let's go. Gregory, do you see that bit of green spinach in your teeth? Have you ever <laughs> heard of Fortnite, Gregory? You need to floss. You need to floss, Gregory. This is embarrassing. Uh, I'm gonna let you guys have this one, and I'll see you next game. Uh, I always come back, and uh, you know the bit. <laughs> That's basically what happened in Security no, Breach. No, we did not, Superstar. Wow, we, we need like a whole series. Like, somebody make a TV Hello, series like this. Welcome to Game Theory, the show that's proud to pick the nerdiest option available. Anyone that picks Monty Golf is just a nerd. <laughs> Hater Golf, jokes on you, my ass cam is OP. Plus, being a nerd allowed me to discover the True. secret daycare room and sister location room. So who's the nerd now? me it's still me last yeah. time we dove into the time definitely not pit that is five nights at freddy's security breach i walked away with some um let's just call them divisive conclusions basically yeah. an episode <laughs> with three separate theories they're very controversial together. yeah one that glam rock freddy wasn't just your average sentient animatronic i agree with this possessed by i the agree spirit of michael afton doing everything he can many because of the Gregory. afton ending this one was uh, generally well received so cool let's keep going why would michael protect this random kid well because two greg whether literally or symbolically, is Michael's younger brother, FNAF 4's crying child. I'm very not Michael sure about this. At this point, but it yes. was really theory number three that threw us for a loop, because there's a good bit of evidence in both the game and in the history of the That Gregory is a robot? That three, Gregory is a robot, the crying child. I believe that more than him being the crying child. Body sometime after he dies in the bite of 83. <laughs> oh, I just don't think that Gregory needs to be a past character. I feel like Gregory is better as a new character. Really the theory and others eh, not so much suddenly i was flooded by people saying that i had rushed it out just to ride the trend or that it was my dumbest theory ever no i, said, I don't no, think so deadpool is ernest hemingway is my dumbest theory ever <laughs> closely followed by wario being 10 feet tall anyway outcry was so huge <laughs> i remember that trending on twitter because of it you know yeah get much better from there weird side note later in the same this week, is the fnaf community for you group of performers juggled to the song megalovania during an event <laughs> Than the pope. I saw this. It took five years, I saw my friends, this. But it looks like that steam code I gave him for Undertale finally paid off. They called me a mad Nice. Anyway, like I said, a lot of heated opinions on the last one. With Twitter basically boiling down this 18 minute long 4,000 word theory down to this single image. So, uh, yeah, th thanks. Thanks for not yeah. including literally anything else from that. Yeah, I thought it was a bit of a stretch. I thought it was a little bit. Vanessa, let me just address some of the biggest counterpoints I saw to the previous theory. Not because okay. I'm convinced. Convinced I'm right. Far Good. I know. I'm, I'm glad you're doing I this. I think that the Gregory is crying child theory currently fits the best with everything the game has presented to us thus far. First, one of the key pieces of evidence last episode was this line right at the start of the game where Freddy says to Gregory, I feel you are broken. This, to me, was a clear connection back to the crying child from FNAF 4 where psychic friend Fredbear says to him, you are broken. I mean, kind of speaks for itself. It's a parallel that's made stronger when you actually remember how that line gets delivered back in that game. There was really no way of knowing back when FNAF 4 was released, but thanks to a secret room found in Sister Location, we know that psychic friend Fredbear is actually a plushie with a walkie-talkie inside of it. Right. A walkie-talkie that allowed William Afton to scare and manipulate his youngest son. Okay. Father of the year, ladies and gentlemen. Also know that throughout FNAF 4, all of William's 
those lines use the color FFFF57, a bright golden yellow. Oh, no. Golden bunny, golden yellow, makes sense. The oh, he's going to talk about the last line. Broken, yeah, it's, a, it's in a different shade. A different yeah. Color, a lighter yellow, Correct. FFFFA0. Back then, we can confirm. To a satisfying explanation. Was it a mistake? Was it another spirit? Was it definitely it wasn't a mistake. But now, seven years of investigation later, we know for sure someone else is indeed talking here. Someone who, in sister location, is mistaken for his dad. Someone who turns purple just like his dad. Someone who can't die like his dad. And someone okay. who had the lines immediately prior apologizing to his kid brother, but sure. when that didn't get through, decided to try comforting him through the voice of his best friend. It's Michael Afton, represented by a lighter color of yellow, a color that symbolically connects him back to his father. In short, we have Michael Afton in FNAF 4 saying the line, you're broken to his brother through the voice of a Fredbear plush. And here in Security Breach, if we're right about all this, we once again have him saying the same line, you're broken to his brother through the voice of another Freddy, this time Glamrock. Okay. I personally think it's a really cool narrative connection between all these I agree, games. and that line is really we're weird that I feel you are broken. Game it's game just really, really random. Final release, where Freddy says that Gregory is bleeding. Specifically, he says, Yeah, but I it was cut out of the game. This, for many people, disproved that Gregory's an animatronic. And yeah. uh, I actually have two things to say about that. First, when I've used cut lines of dialogue in the past, the internet has in no uncertain terms told me that I can't. But uh, now apparently it's okay. Yeah, exactly, I exactly. It, guys, and honestly, I think cutting it, regardless of the reason, shows that it didn't fit the final creative of intent of the game but anyway if that's the case then i gotta bring this line up a cut line of dialogue discovered by gb or a recharged in the game files this one is freddy saying gregory i know why you're not in the customer database i remember you from the and it cuts off obviously it's vague it's kept very intentionally from the vague, bite but it also shows that gregory is special in a way that the other <laughs> wait 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 what there's a reason he's not in the customer base he's from somewhere specific that freddy knows about if i were to guess I'd okay. Okay, like not the bite. Pizzeria, but, you know, <laughs> Never mind. Just me hypothesizing. Adding to the Gregory is special idea is the fact that Chica knows his name. She calls it out in the middle of the pizzeria. Gregory. Yeah. Strange detail for a kid who supposedly has no records in the system. Secondly, and I, uh, I hate to be the bearer of bad news mm. here, but in the books, because everybody loves yeah. when I go back humanoid down, robots, well, they can bleed. They can cry. Bleed. Exactly. They can cry and feel cold. Heck, they can even feel hungry. Look at me. Look at me go. You I'm, I'm young Matt Pat. That one. You can just see it with Chica's pizza obsession and security breach. So to tell me that a robot child can't bleed? Yeah. That's, that's true. It's really true. Look at the franchise I mean, look at the Fazbear Frights as well. confused about the timeline of crying child still being alive and the fact that he would be older at this point, that wouldn't actually be the case. Animatronic children in the books stay at whatever age they're built to be. Charlotte yeah. Emily actually had four separate versions of herself built one for each stage of her life so that exactly. way she could grow older but she would just perfect response perfect response to all the comments i think so crying yeah. child still being young would actually make more sense here and to everyone saying why would he say stuff like don't want to be crushed and twisted into a meat pretzel no again charlotte in the books is shocked to learn her true nature in the final chapters her consciousness had been grafted onto yeah. a childhood toy while she was alive and after her tragic death had been placed inside of her robot body to function as her memory so for all she knew she was just a normal human being just like anyone else is it dumb yeah i'll say that it is is it complicated <laughs> oh yeah absolutely but is it giving us insight into yeah. the rules that it's not the most complicated thing that's, that's come out of the series by? let's be honest yes. It undeniably is. Yeah. Lastly, for everyone who's spamming I agree, I agree. Pictures of sad white boys in striped shirts. <laughs> the dream. The dream. The mask boy. It's great. Child. But remember what series we're talking about here, friends. Visual design details have always been an important part of figuring these games out. Take a look at Baby. During Sister Location, she has green eyes. But when you play her mini game, she has blue mm -hmm. ones. At least and then for Nafo, oh, she has green eyes again. Blue. Lo and behold, had green eyes. Superficial design features like this help us to connect the dots. Are they the be-all and end-all? Exactly, all exactly. No, but they do help support an argument. So a little brown-haired mm -hmm. boy in shorts with a shirt and two stripes? Seems sus. Have you ever heard of Among Us, Gregory? Speaking of eyes, for all the complaints about the last episode, no one seemed to have 
it gets me every time. It gets me every time. Strongest pieces of physical evidence here. Why does Gregory look different when Freddy gets Roxy's X-ray eyes? You look different to me. And secondly, why does Gregory's vision glitch when he sees Vanny? Why does he have such a weird visual reaction to her and to literally no other character in the yeah. game? Well, you hear that totally ringing sound as Vanny skips and gets closer. That's very true. It seems to be a disruptor that makes her invisible to animatronics with older model eyes. In the fire ending, Freddy, who oh, okay. see her at any point in the game, yeah, explicitly says, I can agree says, with that. I can see you now. I have new eyes. I mean, this is exactly how the much-hated sound illusion discs from the books work. Yeah. Creating a high-frequency sound to make people and robots invisible and or look differently. But I'm already fighting a losing battle over here, so I'm just going to gloss over that one. Anyway, to me, it yeah. is great <laughs> I would if I were being disrupted. I mean, why have have CRT lines over the screen and not some other type of filter to show that his vision is getting disrupted. In fact, why have the same CRT lines as the security cameras all around the pizza plex? But there's one okay. piece of evidence I'd like to talk They're not about the same, that but theory before I'll give you that one. And that is the screenshot here of the final scene from the savior ending okay. where you rescue Vanny from the control of glitch trap. And uh, I use quotation marks here because there aren't any official <laughs> sources giving names to the various endings. In the game files, they're just labeled as S1, S2, and S3 based on the number of stars that you get for them. It is worth noting, though, that this is the only three-star ending that currently exists, which seems to imply that it has some level of importance. To You've it. saved Here everyone. we see our three main characters, Gregory, Freddy, and Vanessa, all sitting on a hill, which, as I pointed out last time, is very similar to the FNAF 6 Gravestone Hill. But that's not what's important here. What I want to point out is the ice cream. Gregory is holding a golden Freddy-shaped ice cream with part of its head bitten off. If Gregory is not meant to parallel back to the crying child in any way, shape, or form, then this detail is just mean and irresponsible. It, it is at Ice least a parallel. The story coming full circle. He was terrified of animatronics and ended up being bitten by the Golden Freddy spring suit, but now he's the one sitting on a hill taking a big old bite yeah, out of Golden Yeah, getting Freddy. revenge. That is not me reading too much into this. That is me lightly interpreting a very clear image that was put Absolutely. directly into this game by the designers. It is As I say, it's, it is is at least yeah, a parallel wearing a blue shirt in most of the endings here his shirt is colored purple just like his father's signature color coupled that with literally oh no 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 no, 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 no. that's that is just the, the coloring station. that's so just the shading stand by my theory it's the same shirt it has to be the crying child is it a perfect answer no do i love the fact that it complicates the lore even more no but does it answer he is convincing me a little bit more i believe it does and it's a heck of a lot better than fazgoo but now <laughs> into this episode. Let's actually stop yes. and talk about Vanessa, shall we? Last episode, I made a passing statement okay. about how this final image felt to me like the three. This is what I don't agree with. Reunited. I don't think Michael Elizabeth, Elizabeth has to be connected to Vanessa in any way. Maybe back in sister location. It's a scene that, to me, feels like the narrative finally giving them a sense of closure after they quite literally die as a result of their dad's evil deeds. Last time, I briefly made mention of Vanessa's blonde hair and green eyes, which is the same as Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. And here, in this ending, we actually see Doesn't mean anything. wearing the signature Afton purple. Even the ice cream cone, as opposed to something like Gregory's okay. novelty pop, is a potential callback to her death, where Baby delivered an ice cream cone to I'll her give you that one. before yeah. she did the scoop. And when That's you look true. at the connections between these two characters, it's more than just a couple of visual similarities. The biggest secret in Security Breach right now is a series of 16 retro CDs. Invisible collectibles oh, that are no. hidden in every obscure corner of the game map then he's gonna to talk about bill things, you actually need to have also found the secret sister location room that we and how apparently now, these she is Athens are, child uh, well uh, they're they're problematic they open up a whole separate can of worms they're recordings of therapy sessions following two separate individuals patient 46 and patient 71 the exact identity of patient Correct. 46 yeah. is a theory for next time that will absolutely launch us into yet another flame war but early in patient 71 oh, stage, no. we learned that it's actually Vanessa speaking hello Vanessa how are you feeling today. These are recordings from therapy sessions that Vanessa had while she was at the job for the FNAF AR game Special Delivery. She mentioned right. speaking to a man yeah. named Lewis on Absolutely. several occasions, and we discover that she's also buying We've talked about this um, in, which are things that we in my, my video on this. FNAF AR. By the last of Vanessa's recordings, she's leaving that job for a new job somewhere else. Most likely the job mm -hmm. of security guard here in Security Breach. 
stage. I'm needed exactly. somewhere else now. But let's dive into the good stuff, shall we? In Vanessa's second tape, we learn about a custody battle that happened between her parents. Her dad won using manipulative tactics, forcing his daughter to falsely testify. Your dad made you follow instructions, didn't he? I'm talking it's about also a callback to FNAF VR. Your mom and your dad. Your follow dad instructions. Did he? He used to make your mum look bad in court. After losing custody of her daughter, Vanessa's mother, well, here's what the tape does. I know your mum after she lost the custody. I think she committed suicide. Glitches, implying yeah. that her mother ended her own life, which would explain why Mrs. Yes. Afton is missing from all the games and why she may have wound mm -hmm. up being rebuilt as the motherly exactly. Laura in sister Afton. location. A yeah. robot okay. that, wouldn't you know it, sings about her inescapable depression now that the walls of her house are empty. I like it a lot. Oh, I hate this. We also hear Vanessa lines like that this. Oh, lullaby like this. creeps me out, man. The janitor on this floor has a garden and has been putting bouquets in the offices here for years. Vanessa oh, yeah. Likes flowers. A small detail, but you know me, small details can often be the biggest evidence. Who else do we know in the series that has an affinity for flowers? Well, think back to FNAF 4. Remember this random empty bedroom with a huge yeah. portrait of a flower on the wall? It's Elizabeth's room before she got yeah. scooped. Then you have Vanessa lines like this. Lots of people know more than I do. So Sometimes I need to listen. Now, this might be a stretch, but I believe it's referring to when Elizabeth got scooped by Baby. Her dad had repeatedly and explicitly warned her not to go near Baby, but she didn't listen. And in doing so, she ended up getting herself trapped inside the animatronic. Don't tell Daddy that I'm here. I wanted to watch your show too. I don't know why he won't let me come see you. You're wonderful. Oh, Vanessa lines like Vanessa also says in her tapes that she doesn't like dark basements. I don't know about that. That's a bit of a stretch. In my basement. Maybe I could come up with something you could learn to do. I don't like dark basements. It's another line that seems to be pointing us in the direction of Baby, who is trapped underground for years in Circus Baby's entertainment and rentals, looking for a way uh, okay. back to the surface. I've okay. been out before, but they always put me back. They always put us back inside. There's nowhere for us to hide. Oh. <laughs> and to put one final nail in this coffin, right back in the second CD, we actually learn the name of Vanessa's father. Bill. I feel yeah. like I know your dad, too. Bill. But right? Bill is short for William. That's just the game trolling us with a coincidence, right? Wrong. You see, going back to FNAF AR, we learn that Vanessa's last yeah. name begins with an A. Mm -hmm. From there, we can connect the dots. Bill A, William I Hampton. But think there's more to it than... than FNAF 6? Well, that. yeah, she did, but you see how effective that was. How are you not dead? I mean, to be fair, the thought that burning him is going to work is stupid because people have tried to burn him to death no less than three times in this <laughs> Spoiler alert, it doesn't work. But here's the kicker. At the end of the game, we meet the Blob, a weird tentacle monster made up of all the original members of the series. FNAF yes. 1's Chica and Bonnie, FNAF 2's Mangle, Sister Location's Funtime Freddy, a random endoskeleton crawling on the puppet. bottom, the puppet mask without tears, I might point out, and Baby's face. Now, don't get me started on this being Baby's original face and not Scrap Baby's updated look where she came back to FNAF 6 in. I have words about that. Anyway, look at them all here on screen. You notice anything strange? Most of the animatronic's eyes are lit up. Funtime Freddy, Chica, Mangle, even this random endoskeleton at the bottom. But now take a look back at Baby's mask. The eyes are black. This is good music, so by the way. <laughs> are Baby's body during the burning down of Freddy Fazbear's Are the eyes actually lit up? Spirit. The spirit I didn't know that. Elizabeth Afton is no longer present. It is unaccounted for. It is on the loose. And as such, potentially absent at large oh. is she in some way Vanessa and if so how the truth is that's I, my question I've got my brain in so many knots I might as well be a sailboat I don't think there's any evidence to support any conclusion at this point in time but I do know that this is what the evidence is heavily pointing us towards the design similarities the missing spirit the purple color the ice cream the voice lines the personality traits and again the narrative theme of three Afton kids reuniting and moving on after a I do like that it gives everyone this nice full circle. Yeah, I do like the full circle ending. It's only meant to be symbolic. And the screen really does feel like it's the end. 
finally for these three characters. Maybe next time we'll finally see some new faces. So enough about them. We're moving past those three. There's still other mysteries that we have to solve here. What happened to Glamrock Bonnie? Who is patient 46 and why are they here? What's the deal with that room full of posters? Oh my Stay god, yeah. That one, didn't you? It's it's important. And patient 46 is room. Notice the other missing animatronic from this game? Foxy. I certainly did and I think they might be hiding in plain sight. So next time we get to cover some mysteries that don't require or mangle. About dead characters. We have a lot of mangle references in the game. <laughs> Scratch that. We're talking about William Afton. This is kind of unavoidable <laughs> at this point. Oh, this franchise is so ridiculous. Anyway, next time we're going to sweep up a few other mysteries as we try to make more sense out of the game that quite literally threw everything against the wall <laughs> to see what would stick. Speaking of things sticking on walls, why don't you spice up your day? All right, with all right, all right. Stick? What do I think about this? Um, I'm with you, Matt Pat. I'm with you. Um, it's either they're all Aftons or none of them are Aftons, I feel like. I feel like if if Glamrock Freddy is Michael, that has to mean Gregory is the crying child. There's still a lot of there's still a lot of holes, I think, though. Like I feel like I feel like Gregory and Freddy would have different interactions if they were Michael and the Crying Child, so I'm not sure. I'm not too sure, but um I am starting to like the idea a little bit more that Elizabeth is Vanessa, but, you know, I would fully believe it if, I, I would fully believe it if there was an explanation as to how Vanessa is, is Elizabeth. Maybe it is, again, like the fourth closet where there's different kind of um, ages of robot or whatever. I don't know, yeah, but I, I do like the evidence that uh, Baby is the only one with the uh, the eyes that aren't lit up. I do like that a lot. So yeah, really, I like all of this. This is a lot better, this is, this cleared a lot of things up from the, from the uh, first video. I was going to say this is a lot better than first video, but really, it just cleared things up about the first video. None of them are really that bad. Um, he's put a lot of thought into it, but I think... I, I am, I need that one more step. I need one more step. I need the narrative. Like, why? Who built Gregory? Why, why did they build Gregory? <laughs> how is, how is Michael Afton in Glamrock Freddy? You know, and how is Vanessa Elizabeth? That's, that's all. I need the narrative and then I will start to believe it. Um, but yeah. So thank you so much for watching. What do you think about all of this? Make sure that you tell me in the comments below. Do you agree with me? Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. But I've been Ozone and I have to go Zone. Goodbye. <laughs>